It's now time for the most talked about radio show in the whole wide world. That's FYI Radio Show with your host, Miss Yolanda, the Lady Hinton. I'm Ed Everett, the co-host. The music that you hear in the background is none other than Miss Yolanda, the Lady Hinton, where I am now. And if you'd like to see us live in WGPL 1350 Studio, WMVA 88.9 Studio, all you have to do is go to Edward Everett's Facebook page or Miss Yolanda, the Lady Hinton Facebook page, and guess what? You can see us live in the studio. And if you want to hear us all over the globe, all you have to do is go to 1400 AM, 1350 AM, or com. Click and listen live. And now I want to introduce to some and present to others the host of the most talked about radio show in the whole world, Miss Yolanda the Lady Hinton, and a pleasant good morning to you. Good morning, Mr. E. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Would you, could you, will you be my neighbor? Let's welcome our neighbors, our WGPL 1350 AM listeners. Pace 95.3 FM and WPCE 1400 AM and 88.9 FM WMVA. Facebook Live is on and popping. Let's also welcome Twitter, LinkedIn, and YouTube. Make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. We'll shout you out later on in the show. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Like it, share it, comment. We will shout you out, we promise. Shout them out, shout them out. What about YouTube? You do. Go to Crystal Records 1. C-R-I-S-T-O Records 1. You'll see all our live show. Just click on live, but also subscribe. We will really appreciate you. That's right. Shout you out. Mr. E, what day is it today? T- today. 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 E- home day! It's hump day. It's the middle of the week. You all should be up and popping. That's right. Up and popping, doing your thing, ready to go to the next level and getting them cheering off the school. Oh, what do you think about the children being back in school? Happy, 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 Ooh, happy today. My happy, grandson happy, happy. is back. Oh, he did. This is his, his first day was Tuesday. Yeah. And very excited and everything. You know, Molly and Maverick went to school today, yesterday and today. This is his second day in school. And they just, uh, 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 I call Molly Cindy Lawford. Oh. Girls just want to have fun. She must have had a little crinoline <laughs> and all that cute stuff. That's your grandchildren. That's right. That's, right. That's Absolutely. right. That's right. Absolutely. But the kids are back. I hope you all are being safe. We gave you all rules, regulations, and let you know that, honey, you mess with these, the city. They're going to find you for not abiding by the bus laws. That's rules. right. That's right. By the rules and regulations according. And the children have rules and regulations that they need yes. to abide by in the schoolhouse. Absolutely. But Mr. E, this is our Wednesday segment. What's under the hat? Issues concerning you men. That's right. Men, men, and more men. We're in it. But guess what our topic is? Tell us. Bullies and bad boys. Recent news story. That's right. But you know what? You know what, Mr. E? I wanted to talk about bullies and what a bully is. I want to do that first, and then I want to talk about one bully I feel in particular. I want you to kind of expound on it. But 
What is a bully? A bully is an ongoing and uh, uh, misused power in a relationship to repeated verbal, physical, and our social behavior. They intend to cause physical, social, and psychological harm. It can involve an individual or group misusing their power or perceiving powers over one or more persons who feel unable to stop it from happening. Absolutely. Miss E, I think uh, in my mind, I rewind, I look in the Bible and I'm Looking for bullies. Well, when that's you, who I found. Who did you find that was a bully? Saul. Saul was a bully. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> who later turned, <laughs> they turned to uh, formerly, look, Paul, formerly known as Saul. That's right. The Saul. Tell Saul. us a little bit about well, uh, Paul and I, because I really think that he was a bully in the world. Well, when you look at Saul, Saul had gotten a letter that he was going to um, stop folk from giving God glory. You know, he was persecuting folk, told him that he would lock you up if he caught you giving God, reading the word, shouting and saying hallelujah. And he said he would lock you up. So God had to knock him down. Well, he was bullying God's folk and he was proud to do it. He felt like he was doing somebody an honor. That's right. I guess he thought it was God. I'm not sure if he knew God. Well, he didn't know God at that time. That's right. He but did. he really went forth to persecute and bully and kill and just slaughter. You know, by the time that he was converted, people were scared to death of him. Listen, even the disciples that followed with Jesus, they didn't trust him because of all the havoc that he had caused during the time before he got tur uh, uh, turned around. You know, just like bullies, before they get turned around, folk is not going to trust them. They are Absolutely. not going to trust them because they did so much havoc. They caused so much harm. They caused so much person the pr uh, problems, you know. And, and sometimes folk don't understand that bully can be online also, you know, and, and, and digital platform. Bully is a person that really raise a whole lot of havoc for because they've been bullied they've been picked on so now they're gonna find someone that they can raise sand with well absolutely but getting back to my point my point is that you know bullies you know they didn't just evolve in, in this century you got, in, in this, you got folk that's <laughs> <laughs> been long time bullies That's and they, right. and, they and, and my point uh, of bringing up uh, Paul and uh, Saul, Saul. Saul is the fact that they do think it's a cause and they do think it is something that they are called to do. Well, that was not his calling. And uh, when he uh, was uh, going down that road of Damascus, God showed him what his real calling was. Uh, but uh, I wanted to actually re uh, uh, fast forward to where we are now. And we're dealing with bullies, bad boys, and uh, all kind of folk now. But this is the thing, Mr. E, as uh -huh. much harm as they do, they really feel like they have a call. <laughs> they really feel like, you know, they're doing God or somebody else a favor. That's and that's why I mentioned uh, Saul, because he had that same mindset. Now, what gives them this mindset, Mr. E, that they think all the harm in the world that they're doing is something that is called? You know, Miss Hinton, when they do that, when a bully goes off on it, he thinks that he's getting a pat on the back. He's doing uh, somebody a favor, open up doors for somebody Ooh. else. You know, he figured that he 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 can be that's protecting someone else from being hurt. Uh, you know, protecting, uh, protect, someone. he called it protecting. Sorry. That's what they he called it that he's looking out for somebody else's making the door open for someone else around them. So he he's uh, terrorizing. He's being uh, 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 causing the other one. You know, it's always a leader. Oh. It's always someone that's uh, behind a bullet. It's always a motive. It could have been him that's been bullied. It could have been his mom and daddy that bullied him. And he's got to take it out on somebody else. That's what a bully is all about. He he might not have the last word and somebody uh, might have stopped him from talking. So now he got an opportunity now to do it his way. It's my thing. Thing. I'm going to do it. I don't care about the consequences. I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to do me. 
Well, I tell you what, we are running across folks that are bullying people in this day and time on the big stage. That's right. Uh, we have a story today. Uh, it says, jury convicts four leaders of the Proud Boys of seditious conspiracy related to U.S. Capitol breach. And these folks uh, had gone all out to uh, wreak havoc, not just in the lives of people, but uh, with our uh, democracy and things like that. You know, like I said, they really think they're doing justice and uh, their cause. They see, you know, they're looking through a perspective of, oh, you know, I, I have to prove something. I have to prove that uh, democracy uh, is not all that. I've got to prove that, you know, we can band together and through violence and, and all kind of stuff, change things. And it, it, it has caused a problem. But we also talk about the law, and that's what we are going to highlight as well. You cannot sit back and think that you're going to wreak havoc on democracy and people and uh, the capital and not reap the repercussions from your actions. Well, you know, Ms. Center, they don't think. But at that time, they don't realize there's consequences for what they do. They just know that they're doing it and everybody's laughing at them and everybody's smiling and they get the accolades and pat on the back. Absolutely. It says uh, a jury in the District of Columbia today, and that was yesterday, returned guilty verdicts on multiple felonies against the members of the Proud Boys. Uh, finding four of the defendants guilty of seditious conspiracy for their actions before and during the breach of the U.S. Capitol on January 6, 2021. Right. According to the evidence at trial in the months leading up to January 6, the defendants plotted to oppose by force the lawful transfer of uh, presidential power and to prevent the members of Congress and the federal law enforcement officers who protect them from discharging their Duties. That's right. That's right, Miss Hinton. When they started doing that, they started thinking that, oh, I'm going to do this for this reason, this cause. You know, when you look at that word and, and conspiracy or seditious, seditious, when you look at that's another a word that falls in the category of, cho of chauvinist. That's How about it, rebellion, you know, or uh, uh, anything that will cause them to think that they got the power to do anything that they want to do. You know, just like, for example, uh, some men call it male show with this. They call it rebellion show. They want to have the power to do what they want to do and to think that it is right, that they're above the law. Absolutely. And that's the thing. No one is above law. We have the former president of the United States, Donald Trump, with 91 indictments, more to come. And you have to give an account to the law. That's why the law is there. The law is there for a reason. And the law is there that we may not cross it, you know, and uh, think that we can get away with so much. You know, it comes a time when you may be able to just slide through. But eventually, you know, if you keep doing what you're doing, uh, wrecking havoc and and uh, trying to tear things down and break things up and do a number of people, eventually it's going to get back to you. And so we have a group. That's right. They call them the Proud Boys. They call them the Proud Boys. And they're old boys. keepers. That's right. And they're dedicated to themselves and their cause who went out there on January the 6th, live and live in color on the big stage, Mr. E, and wrecked havoc, wanting blood, That's wanting right. to tear down democracy, didn't want the uh, transfer uh, of the title of presidency to go to uh, uh, Biden. And uh, it, they did it by force. And they say that they did it by uh, someone saying get them that's stand right. back stand, right. what was that stand, stand back. back stand down and stand. stand back and stand down that, you that know. means come out there and get ready to do what y'all do that's right according to the evidence the proud boy described themselves as a member of a pro-western fraternity mm -hmm. organization for men who refuse to apologize for creating the modern world mm -hmm. aka western chauvinists Throughout, throughout at, though at least January the sixth, th this th fellow, you know, he 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 really stepped on his own two feet. You know, they they, they also create this slogan that the Proud Boys known as 
ministry of self-defense. Hmm. Ministry. Ministry, M-I-N-I-S-T-R-Y, <laughs> of self-defense. You know, when, I, when they describe them as uh, the Proud Boys, an organization who re to, to refuse to apologize for creating the modern world. But, you know, it reminds me of all those wearing them white caps and the hats and, you know, an organization that feel that they are above. They are above, uh, above the law. Uh, that's what it reminds me of. And uh, through violence and through all kind of things, uh, they make it, uh, they, they wreck havoc and make life a living hell for people. Now, they went into the uh, capital by force. Yeah. And uh, they they were out for blood, Mr. E. That's it, right. It wasn't a thing where they just, you know, wanted to go in and say a few things. It wasn't a few things. They wanted to actually uh, kill. They were after uh, Vice President Pence, uh, uh, Nancy Pelosi. Uh, you know, they wanted to, these bad boys, and that's what we're talking about. That's what we're covering. Bad boys. These bad boys. Bullies. Were, bullies and bad boys. That's right. Bullies and bad boys. That's who they are. They Miss Hinton, they decided that they want to do a number. Absolutely. They wanted to do a number on the country. It was 1,100 of them that got caught. That in 27 months since January the 20th, more than a thousand members, individual have been arrested. Nearly all 50 states. They are located all oh. over the world. They are located uh, uh, all over. 320 20 individuals charged with assault and impending law enforcement. They are located all over. A member of the self-defense, a ministry of self-defense, conspiring to prevent and hinder and delay the certificates of uh, the electoral yes. college vote. Absolutely. And, you know, they, they want to oppose havoc. They want to start problems. That's what all they, they set out to do, to create and to set up a barricade, a metal, a tear down, a metal, uh, a dismantle, a metal barricade to just to get in there and call threatening harm to those who are in Congress. Absolutely. Now, their motive was to make sure, and you just said it, that the transference of power was not uh, going to take place. That's right. They were going to see to it that uh, former President Trump was going to stay in office by any means necessary. That is so true, Miss Hinton. By any means necessary, they wanted to tear America. You know, that's what gets me so much about America. We, you know, uh, any two time, any two time, the, the the them cats can break into the White House, tear down the White House, Capitol, and the yes. and the Capitol, yes. and the National Guard don't come out, the Army don't come out, the Navy don't come out, the Secret Service, or none of those uh, armed forces come out to to protect them. For so there was a reason for that too. That's right. Stand down. And yeah, stand down and all that kind of stuff. But uh, it is really a, a shame. But they had a, a cause. These bad boys got together. Uh, they conspired and they came out to see it through. Now I'm trying to figure out why Mr. E they couldn't do it, you know, uh, just come in and say, well, we need to talk, we need to find out, or we need to go by the law on how we could, you know, say, you know, something is not right with this. Can we prove that this is uh, the that this man deserves? to be president and this one is not why why was it that it was done with such violence you know, because you're said, dealing with bad boys bullies and folk that figured they could come in do a number and get things done with violence well my sense you're dealing with a ministry of dealing with folks who figured that they don't have to apologize they figured it's supposed to be done their way, it, you, you know, it, it figured that this order, this fraternity that we're talking about is, is supposed to be the number one fraternity in America. Number one? That's right. Oh, my goodness. And this, what makes them number they, one? Because they, the Proud Boys, they had the, the pool of 
everybody else, they were selected by the president to do what they want, the ex-president to do what they want to do. But one thing we can say, hey, you can be as proud as you want to. You can take as many oaths as you want to. You can conspire all you want to. There's this thing called the law. Right. And no one is above the law, not presidents, not governors, mayors, not you, not me, not the proud boys, not the oath keepers. You have to give an account for that law that's in place, that keeps things in place. And so uh, these bad boys decided to cross that line. You know, Ms. Hinton, a lot of people don't believe, don't believe that uh, 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 President, ex-President Trump was a part of it. They don't believe that this was going on by him. But you know, when you look at it, when you look at it, how in the world can you have a rally and in in one part and then right down the street, now they go and tear down everything. And you and 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 and, and now look at all those innocent people that's in there then then got hurt, then got killed. knocked down, mm -hmm. then got killed, then got threatened. You know, uh, Nancy, where you at, Nancy? Well, the Proud Boys and the Oath Keepers did one of uh, Adam and Eve's thing. Well, she made me do it. He made me. All of them pointing to former President Trump say he made me do it. That's right. He yeah. made me do it. Sheila Robinson, we want to say good morning to you, Mr. Nathan Richards. We want to Richardson. We want to say good morning to you, Mr. Nathan Richards. Said, continue with the legacy of Black Press. Thank Absolutely. you so much. Absolutely. So uh, we're talking about. A bullies, bad boys, oath keepers, proud boys, or whatever their name is, they thought they could go and do things through violence. They went in and they they wanted blood. And this is the thing about it, you know. Uh, former President Trump is going to have his day in court and all that, all the under all these indictments and all this stuff, and all those folks that's fallen, y'all going to have your day too. But this is the thing. If he is not instrumental in giving orders or, you know, rallying these folks up, why would you sit up here talking about you going to pardon them? <laughs> why would you? Now, come on now. Listen here. Listen the law this. has given these men, and we're going to talk about that, the sentence of uh, these men, uh, because there was a sentence that just went down on yesterday. We're going to talk right. about that in a minute. But these men have gotten 10 to up to 22 years uh, the law has found them guilty of conspiracy and uh, sedition and all that stuff. But you as a former president going to sit back and say, I'm going to pardon that un those ungodly acts. Now, what's that all about? You know, Ms. Hinton, the law, the law, when we talk about the law, the law has been thrown out the window. The American people, it, no. they tried to make America like uh, Russia and the rest of the country where there's only one person that's controlling America, you know. And, and so when they do that, they, they, they take in the law in their own hands. We know that there's laws that we need to buy by. We know that we have to do that. But see, some people have taken the law and threw it away. Absolutely. Well, I tell you what. Proud Boys leader sentenced to 22 years in prison for seditious conspiracy and other charges related to U.S. Capitol breach. Uh, in Washington, the former national chairman of the Proud Boys was sentenced today for seditious conspiracy that was yesterday and other charges related to the breach of the U.S. Capitol for on January 6, 2021. His action and the actions of others disrupted a joint session of the U.S. Congress that was in the process of uh, uh, ascertaining and counting the electoral votes related to the 2020 presidential election. That's and the guy in Miami, Florida. Read it. His name is Henry Enrique uh, Terrara. Yes, he's 39, mm -hmm. not 39 years old, Miami, Florida, and he's Cuban American. Got himself out there, Mr. E, on the 6th uh, of 2021 on the Capitol and was an attacked uh, 140 law enforcement officers defending those inside. Uh, uh, they were assaulted and uh, they were upset that they could not stop the peaceful transfer of power to the newly elected government. You know, Ms. Hinton, he got 22 years in yeah. prison and 36 months of supervisor, supervised release. But well, Mr. E, they sat up there and cried like babies. Now listen, bad boys and bullies? Bad boys, bad boys. Y'all supposed to be bad boys and bullies. <laughs>
how you going to get up there? I mean, they actually, Mr. E, they actually have a tape of those convicted crying like little teeny children, babies right there in front of the day on judge. You know, Miss Hanson, when you look at it, the Proud Boys leaders, one Ooh. leader got 22 and other leaders got 32 years between the both of them. They, you know? they were, look, the judge was dishing out 17 years, 10 years, eight years. The young man, 39 years old, 22 years in so you, you know, you know where he's gonna be spending his Christmas. Oh yeah, right there uh, with a uh, uh, Pokemon <laughs> and Bigs and Joseph Bigs. He got seventeen years. Yes. And then this other other fellow that by the name of R E H L got fifteen years. Ooh. These are the leaders. These are people that yes. was help lead the charge on January the 6th. See, these people are not playing. The thing about it, they cross the line. And that's what we're, the message we're trying to get out to our audience is that you can be a bully and a bad boy all you want. They're still the law. That's right. That's right. And bullies cross the line. There are lines, you know. And you know what, Miss Hinton? Bullies cross the line. If you say, this is my property, don't come in my property. They so bad big bag and bodacious that they'll come in your property and don't think anything that's going to happen to them. Absolutely. That's why Crystal Community Development Corporation next month, Mr. E, we are uh, uh, hosting uh, anti-bullying yes. rally. You know, we want to get our kids young and let them know that, you know, bullying, that's not the road to go on. That's right. That's not the way to go. Uh, doing things, uh, crossing the line and feeling like the, the law, you, you're going to take the law in your hand and that there is no law is something that we got to teach our children. We have too many ch uh, black uh, boys and girls uh, and uh, men in prison. That's right. That's uh, right. Uh, because they some, some of them uh, did not understand that bullying is wrong or, you know, using violence is the way to solve problems. We want to get them now young where they can understand that you don't have to use those tools and things to uh, make your statement or, or, or for a cause, you know, to do people harm. We're seeing it too much, seeing it too much in school. And a lot of these young bullies end up in prison down the road. That's right. So, you know, Ms. Sinton, I, I believe that folks don't understand that there are boundaries. You know, yes. this sign said, do not come on my property, no soliciting, get away. But yet and still, this is my space. This is what I, this is my body. I'm in charge of my body. You can't take the, this body, no, any kind of way. And you know what, Miss Hinton, it's the bully that, uh, that, that gets them, but it's the standby, the bystanders that egg them on too, you know, yes. and that make a bully go off to the deep end. All they got to do is have somebody to encourage them, there you, go. you know, have some somebody to laugh at. <laughs> And tell them to go down yeah. there and do certain things. You That's know, right. they're going to stand right. back and they're going to Oh, you them. ain't going to hit them. You ain't going to hit them. Go down there. Go down to the Capitol. Go down there. Do your thing. Go down there. Go in school and wreak havoc uh, on kids, innocent kids and things like that. And so uh, getting back to what I was saying about Crystal Community Development Corporation, Mr. E, we have our anti-bullying uh, campaign, our community against bullying. Yeah. A call to action now. We want to teach and dialogue with children to let them know uh, uh, bullying and being a bad boy, a bad girl is not the way to go because you have something that we call the law. And cross it if you want, and you're going to end up with 22 years like these men, 17, 18, 10 years, and you can't get out. And you're going to find somebody out there, Miss Hinton, that's big and better than what oh, you ooh, are. When you get in When there. you get incarcerated, you're going to find that there are folks, there are folks that you think that you did something here was great, but wait till you get locked up behind those prods. They know how to break you down. Well, if you are uh, uh, in front of the judge crying like a baby, you already broke <laughs> You go in there, they're going to know that you ain't all that. That's right, that's that's right. So, Miss Hinton, tell them a little bit more about our community against yes. bullying and also about what Crystal Records is uh, uh, and the books that are out there. Crystal Community Development Corporation, our community against bullying, a call to action now takes place in October. We're going to have registration up. Uh, we'll have uh, pizza and a dialogue. Uh, we have panels of uh, adults, panel of youth, 
We'll have entertainment. We'll have giveaways, all kind of things to just uh, help educate our community on what bullying is, what to look for, and why people do it, and how you can solve the problem and uh, of bullying and not become a victim. And don't forget to tell them a little bit about uh, uh, that it's not just child's play, but adults can be bullied also. Absolutely. Uh, bullying is everywhere. It's in the street. You can see, we just saw it, like I said, uh, in the Capitol, January the 6th, people bullying and pushing and, and doing all kinds of things. Bullying is everywhere, in the schools, wherever children reside, uh, the adult in the church, wherever, bullying is there and it's in there in a bad way. Uh, and it's causing a lot of problems with uh, uh, those that are victims. And so we want to, uh, we will give you more information about it. You can also go to our pages and website. Uh, you're going to go to bullvicacademy.com, B-U-L-V-I-C. You'll get information about the rally and on our social media pages. So just stay tuned. We want you all to be a part of it. And we want you to make sure that you're growing up a, a strong, well-rounded children and not bad boys and bullies. Yeah. For the past 30 minutes, you've been listening to the most talked about radio show in the whole wide world. That's FYI Radio Show with your host, Mrs. Yolanda, the Lady Hinton. I'm Ed Everett, the co-host. And for more information, give us a call at 757-714-7861. Our inbox is at Edward Everett's Facebook page, Miss Yolanda, the Lady Hinton Facebook page, FYI Facebook page. Our email is at FYI Radio Show Live at gmail.com. Don't forget to join us Monday, Wednesday, and Friday from 9.30 to 10, and have a wonderful hump day. Yeah, Mr. E, Mr. E. Boy, this thing is really playing out very interesting um, about, uh, you know, the law. The law, the law. Thank God for the law. That's right. Because yeah, there will be a time when, honey, people are going to overlook the law, and, and they're not going to have any use for it, and it's going to wreak havoc in the land. But I'm saying we're thankful to God that there's still the law, that there are people that are doing harm and doing wrong uh, will come to, you know, uh, we will get justice for those that are feel, feel they feel the need not to do things according to the law. The yeah. bad boys and the oath keepers thought they had their own world and that they could come in and do a number. But guess what? The law was there and they have been sentenced to so many years. Their leaders, um, they're crying like babies, poor thing. But, you know, <laughs> nobody, you know, but they people won't are crying with it. That's, that's what I'm saying. And, the cap capital down. and uh, people had lost their lives. And, uh, you know, I'm hoping this is what I'm hoping for them, that one day they'll say, listen, let me talk to young people. Let me talk to uh, our youth and our teenagers and let them know. Don't come down this road. That's right. It's a terrible road. It's going to keep, it's going to have you locked up like an animal. That's right. And you know, Miss Hinton, and, and, and when you look at them, the, it, what the consequences that they have out there, that there was folks who can't work no more. There were mm -hmm. folks who, you know, and they did it. But that, but the consequence is we caught you. We mm -hmm. got you. 1,100 of them, Ooh. 576 of them got caught. And, and now you got, a a, a, you got half of them, got one of them, the leaders, the ring leaders. And that's what you have to get. You have to get the to ring get the leaders. You got to get the, the ones that leading everybody. You know, uh, uh, Americans must know that there has to been an organization that's been brewing and started all mm. over 50 states, an organization that's around the country that has been started and it's called the Proud Boys Federation, you know, mm. that has been in all over the world in pro-Western fraternity, an organization for men who refuse mm. to apologize for creating the modern world. Oh, all I can say is there's this thing called the law. You're not above it. You're going to have to uh, help be held accountable, you know, for the deeds that you do. And so, you know, you know, you can sit back and think you got this thing, you know, sold up. I'm big and bad. You know, you want to carry and flex, carry yourself like, oh, look at uh, us. But you're crying before the judge and you're going to end up locked up like an animal. It is. Was it worth it? Is it worth it? And so let's, you know, that you all have done your deed and you're going to suffer the consequences. But Mr. E, let's look out for those young, right. those right. young people that are coming up that may think that being a bad boy or bully or bad girl is the way to go. We want to stop that right there and let them know 
you are going to have, you're going to suffer the consequences as a result of your actions. There's this thing called the law, and we need to teach our children that you will be penalized for going across those lines. You know, Ms. Henson, they, they got to understand it. I don't care what's hurting you in your home. I don't care what you're doing. You cannot... Uh, come cross boundaries. There are boundaries Ooh. out here that you must abide by. Yes. You can't cross the line and think it's, it's all right. You know, whatever you got going on in your home, you know, I look around Miss Hinton and there are so many parents are being killed uh, by their children. Their children are, are killing their parents and, and then their, their folks are coming outside that home and they targeting other folks. You know, yes. when, when we look at that, when we look at it's an organization, it's a spirit that's running around. Look at Saul. Saul got to the point that when God ain't never did anything wrong, Jesus ain't never did anything wrong, but he decided that he wants to target <laughs> folk that was giving, giving somebody else glory. That's what I'm you, saying. You, that, you, that you, Ridiculous. You know, it, it bothers me when folks see that you're doing a wonderful job and they want to give you accolades. Somebody always somewhere that is jealous of what you're doing and is going to try to create a, a, a ruckus behind it. And you, yeah, and not only at Mr. E, gangs, these gangs, pulling children into gangs. You know, they they trying to show that they trying to say, well, you know, we love you so much. We love you to death, meaning come on in here, do wrong, because you're going to end up probably six feet under. That's right. As a result of getting into uh, these uh, places and uh, organizations that don't mean people no good. They're there to wreck havoc. That's right. And we need to sound the alarm. We need to let our youngins know. We need to let yeah. America know this stuff called bullying is real. Yes. This stuff. And we think it's just, oh, that's the way he is. He's been like that for the rest mm -hmm. of his life. Did you not know that because you let it go? See, in school, little boys and little girls in school has been targeted, bullied yes. by their parents right at home. So they bring that stuff to school. They bring that stuff out of the house. You know, I, I'm thinking about that little boy over in, in Rich Neck. Yes. When, when we all know the story. His mother is now on trial. She's yes. going to get some jail time. Absolutely. You know, they, that during that time that she's supposed to have been on probation, she ran there snorting cocaine and smoking marijuana and, 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 uh, and not supposed to have been doing that. Allegedly. But but here's the thing that gets me so much. If we don't stop it at the beginning point, uh -huh. With our new generation, if we don't quit it now, guess what? We're going to have a terrible world that we're going to have. Absolutely. Take all that energy. If you want to fight somebody, go over to Russia. Go over to let the wall, let a wall break out. Take that energy and Thank put them in the wall. Go over there. But uh, again, you know, being bullies, bad boys, bad girls, old keepers, gang bangers, and all that stuff, honey, there is a place for That's people right. like that. Hell this is, is your but place. this is the thing. Like again, uh, Crystal Community Development Corporation, we want to get children while they're young. We have a Young Women Achieving Success program, girls 10 to 17. We're recruiting. We want to develop young leaders. We want to talk to kids about, you know, the things that they go through or uh, if they've been bullied. Or if they're part of a gang and want to get out, you know, we need to t uh, to target our kids because we're in some little kids may get a slap on the wrist, uh, and they and the law may not, uh, you know, be able to put them away. Uh, they grow up if they continue to make choices, and they end up in prison, and they end up, you know, just no, no, not good for anything, but to spend the rest of their lives caged up like an animal. We want to prevent that from happening with our programs, young men and women achieving success. We want to make sure kids understand what bullying is, how they can uh, not be bad, uh, bystanders, how they can not be victims, how even if you're a bully, you can stop being a bully. We have tools, resources, uh, education, we have programs. We have all kinds of things for our young people, for our schools, that's going to help people make better decisions, make help children make better decisions so they won't end up going down that road and getting 22 years, Mr. E, 30 years, life sentences, sentences and all that 
we want to keep children from going down that road. So yeah. we are going to, in October, we're going to uh, actually uh, put the date out in October, Anti-Bullying Month, and uh, we want you to register, bring your kids for Pizza and a Dialogue. If you're interested in being on our panel to talk to kids, to answer questions, if you're an educator, if you're a concerned parent, if you know about bullying, if you're an advocate uh, uh, for bullying, we want you to be a part of our panel. We're going to have young people. Uh, we're going to have all kind of things to help kids to understand that going down the road, and just like these young men, that's not the road you want to go down. You know, Miss Hinton, and that's one of the greatest things in the world to do is to have it well known, to mm -hmm. push it out there well known. Yes. It's not enough just to say we got a program, we got this. If folks got to understand why your children got razor blade uh, or, or marks on their arm, why they yes. don't want to go to school. Yes. You, you know, you got to pay close attention to when your grandmama is in the nursing home and they got people over there punching them and beating them up yes. and, and because they they wouldn't cooperate and fight them. You got to pay close attention to what's going on in this world. Absolutely. Because you know, when when there's when the alarm is sound, you don't want to be Johnny come lately. You want to be able to recognize and to do something about it. Absolutely. You know, it, it, and, until it hits your house. You know, until it hits your feet, until it hits your, your crib. I had, a, had, I had a granddaughter that's a part of a game. You don't know at night how much you've got to wear it, yes. where your girl is, where your children is, where your granddaughter is at. In, 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 in four years of all her young adult life, she's been incarcerated. And you know, you'd be surprised what they make them do and what they're willing to do. And uh, it's just a terrible uh, road uh, of destruction uh, and a cycle of defeat. And so we, we are going to address that. You know, we look at these men and these are the choices they made. They're crying like babies, but they're saying, hey, I did it. But who would want to spend 22 years in the pokey, honey? Child, what for in the else? world? You 39 years old for and, someone telling. Ooh, and you mm -hmm. didn't. And all they told you, stand by. Ooh. Stand by. Stop and stand by. Stand by. Well, you're going to stand by right there in that, uh, that plank right. plank. Yeah, and he's out long, here free. Long time. He's running free. And you around there. Stand by, stand, stand back, and stand Absolutely. by. So don't forget, uh, we'll give you that information about the anti-bullying rally, pizza and a dialogue. Also, uh, we uh, will uh, give you information too about Young Women Achieving Success mentoring program. Girls, ten to seventeen, we're recruiting. Uh, don't forget, bullying is right underneath your nose. The book is online everywhere: Spanish, English, Audible, uh, hard copy. And don't forget, a new book is coming. I'll announce that real soon on Friday. Bullvik, the game is up online. If you have an Android, go to your Google Play Store. Yeah. If you have a uh, iPhone or iPad, you can go to Apple.com and get the game Bullvik. That's B U L V as in victory. I C. Plus, visit us at uh, BullvikAcademy.com. B U L V I C Academy.com and check out uh, information about bullying and things like that. Uh, and also, um, you know, just continue to follow us on social media and uh, like, share, and comment, uh, subscribe on our channel, YouTube, Crystal Records 1, C-R-I-S-T-O, and uh, please, please subscribe to our channel. Mr. E's going to tell you how you can uh, be a special guest sponsor or intern with FYI Radio Show. If you'd like to be a special guest, a sponsor, or intern on the most talked about radio show, all you have to do is give us a call at 757-714-7861. That's 757-714-7861. Or inbox us at Edward Everett's Facebook page, Miss Yolanda the Lady Hanson's Facebook page, FYI Facebook page, or email us at FYI Radio Show Live at gmail.com. Yes. That's FYI Radio Show Live at gmail.com. Guess what? If you be, want to be in our audience, and if you want to be a part of uh, an anti-bullying program, let us know. Give us a holler. Haul, give us a call at 757-714-7861 or inbox or email us at FYI Radio Show Live at gmail.com.
Absolutely. So you all be blessed. Thank you, Sheila Robbins, Nathan Richards, Ed Everett. You up there too. That's all right. those are up there that I don't see. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for your support. Make sure you like, share, and comment. Uh, we have some great shows coming up. Join us on Fun Friday, and we'll announce some of the things and who's coming up and what we're going to be talking about as well. You all have a wonderful day. Stay cool if you're here in the Hampton Roads area. It's going to be in the 90s, and I'm telling you, it's smoking. So uh, We'll see you back here on Friday. Be blessed and uh, take care of yourselves. Two up, two down, VA. Bye. Bye now.